Good morning, it's March 11, 2015, and welcome to another edition of Seneca News. This past weekend, Air Canada filed a lawsuit against WestJet. Um, a few weeks ago, certain members of WestJet's management engaged in extensive practice and tried to access password protective proprietary employee website maintained by Air Canada. WestJet wanted to download and access this commercially sensitive information without any authorization or consent from Air Canada. This information led WestJet to access um, Air Canada's pricing programs, most profitable routes, and any new expansions they had in mind. This valuable information to adjust their own schedules and pricing info was used against Air Canada. Oh, this just in. I have Maggie Chen with more news about this story. Thank you, Gisela. Now, we have just learned that this practice was done with the knowledge of WestJet management. They knew what was going on and did not stop until it was discovered by Air Canada. By knowingly accessing confidential information of Air Canada, WestJet was actually able to gain valuable springboard into new routes and avoided costly and time-consuming mistakes. WestJet took an obstructionist stance where they accessed Air Canada's confidential information and did not care about their ethical actions until they were caught. However, once caught, they did admit that they were irresponsible and completely unethical. Now, WestJet apologized and took full responsibility of their unethical behavior that they had done. They went to court and paid a settlement of $15 million. And now, on to our special guest, Professor Cohen, who teaches unethical behavior at Seneca College. Professor Cohen, if you could please explain why WestJet was unethical. Thank you, Maggie. So why was WestJet unethical? WestJet had access confidential information that was from another company that they did not consent about. By the simple fact that WestJet had hacked into Air Canada's confidential files to try and give an advantage to Air Canada's success for being one of the top 15 airlines worldwide. By hacking into Air Canada's valuable information, WestJet would be able to fiddle with their files and information to try and get Air Canada to fall within their ranks. This is an extremely unethical act done by WestJet to try and get ahead of the game by piggybacking on someone else's success. They also had, in a sense, taken advantage of Air Canada's success and information to get ahead of one of, the biggest com one of their biggest competitors. The one good thing that WestJet did was confess straight away once Air Canada found out and paid for the damages. However, they are now seen as a company who will cross any line to get ahead no matter what the consequences are. Thank you, and back to Gisela in the studio. Thank you, Maggie and Professor Jessica Cohen, for those insightful views. That's all the time we have for today. Now we'll go to Anthony Pace for sports and the latest headline, The Leafs Lose Again.